For the first time in my life, I had the thought of like, maybe this isn't what I'm meant to be doing. Mm. For the first time ever, I was like, not giving up on it, but I'm like, I had such a successful year, but you're always kind of back at square one. Hey, hey, what's up, what's up? Back in the studio today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, super fired up for this podcast for the for one big reason. Not only uh, Sabina Gadecki is the name of the guest that's coming through soon. Uh, not only has she done some big things in the past. She uh, let's just give a little rundown. She uh, was the host of the World Poker Tour for a season. She was signed to Ford Models. I'm not sure if she's still signed to them right now. She's been featured in Law and Order, White Collar, House of Lies, and The League. She played a part in the Entourage movie, which. For me, was is probably my favorite show of all time. I always say that Entourage to me seemed like the sex in the city for women, but the Entourage was for the males, and I absolutely loved that show. And she played a role in it. She was E's girlfriend in the movie. And what's interesting about Sabina is that, well, not interesting, but the fun fact is she's from the same hometown as your boy, B.O.B. Chickabee, Massachusetts. Uh, that already made me super interested. I mean. When you when when you hear what she's accomplished already, like I want to get this person on the podcast. But when you find out she's from the same hometown as me, all the way thirty five hundred miles away in Western Massachusetts, Chickabee, Mass. I'm already like so fired up for this podcast. Uh, she's done a lot. I'm really really excited to kind of get into her story and even talk to her more about just like growing up in Chickabee and what it was like for her. Some of the lessons she learned. She graduated from the same high school as me before me. It should be a really good podcast. Like I said, she's got a resume. I love that she's been in Entourage and I'm super excited to break down her story. Let's get into it. Well, you know what it is? I think it's more to, it's, it's it's people that come through that I've never met before. That's the real thing, you know? Like, um, when I've had people come in that I know, it, there's no, you kind of skip a lot if it's, you're skipping a lot of, yeah, there's like, you're skipping a lot of steps, you know? Like, you go, I mean, you, I literally meet these people and then 20 people, I, I don't even know if people really realize that it's like, you communicate briefly with these people online, emails, just very short, simple, just, you know, when can we do this, blah, 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 and then they come, you try to spend, you know, you only have them for so long, so you try to spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes just kind of getting them loose and warmed up and explaining what this is all about, and then it's like, boom, you get into it, yeah, and you're going into, like, their childhood, you're going into, like, what motivates them, and you're trying to, you're trying to pull out some real, some real life stuff. I went to Bellamy. Yeah, I went to Bellamy too. You do, how old are you? 24. Okay, yeah. you too. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! What's up? I seem so happy because I'm from Chicopee yeah. because no one's ever heard of it. Yeah, nobody ever knows where Chicopee is. I made a comment one time during like Entourage time and I had been interviewed and someone was like, where are you from? And I said, I'm oh, from this little town in Massachusetts called Chicopee and like people were offended that I had said like little town because people were like responding. I was like on Mass Live or something oh, being like, it's not a little town. What do you, what do you this want is to say? like, Fucking. like this is not a little town. There's this many people here, and I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm from, like, I'm just, just saying. The literally, small, how it is? It is a small town. Los yeah. Angeles, yeah. when I say Chicopee, not one time in yeah. the seven years that I've lived here, someone been like, love that place. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to make it to LA. It was always on the bucket list. How long have you been out here? Since September. So oh, we moved, new. Yeah, we moved there ten months ago. Yeah. Yeah. From Chicopee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was living. I was living in Boston. I was living in Boston. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, it's, it's all like all like the like the techs like techies live in the house. The best yeah. thing about living out here is honestly the so our third roommate he doesn't act Kirk we met since we moved out here he looks. Where are you? I was like, are you from Chicopee? No, he's not from He's not from Chicopee. That would be crazy. We'll come on in. I'm gonna show you. This is where the the studio magic happens. Half studio, half bed. Love it. Look at you guys, yeah. all professional. I mean Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Purpose in the Youth Podcast with your favorite bearded man, the one, the only, Bob A. Today on the show, we have Sabina Gadecki. Welcome to the show. You're 
first question you asked me of like who's Sabina today? Yeah. I think I lived for a lot of years for everybody else. Doing like, things. So, like the twenty year old version of me and the and the different version of me now. Like I think who I am now is like I do what makes me happy and the mm. people I love happy. But like in in my twenties, I was like trying to make everybody else around me happy. Like family, friends, or family, like family, friends, my ex, everybody else that like. This is amazing. Sabina Gadecki. Thank, Thank you so, you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank Another chicken beat representative. Hold it down for the four one three. <laughs> I don't know if it's being in LA because of the weather, but or it, if it's because I've just kept myself so busy. But that this past ten months has gone by just so fast. gone by fast, but it's just felt like one month. Yeah. Because the winter months, quote unquote, I hear of the are like the same temperature. Oh my god! Like, like yeah, it, there is a difference when it's ninety degrees, but the winter of like the low being 55, 60, when I'm used to like five, ten degrees. I was wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt. Yeah. I was like, this is cool. And people are, I drive Uber out here. People are like getting into my car with Patagonian jackets, <laughs> gloves, little, mittens. Little, little padded Oh vest. my God. I was like, what are you guys doing? Like, really, this is give me a break. But the last 10 months, I can't even, I'm going back home next month for a wedding. Okay. See some family. And of course, that's the best time of year to go back. Yeah. Like July, course, the favorite. weather. This is, I think this has been the fastest year of my life. Yeah. Honestly, I was like, what in the hell? Like, yeah. how did this go? I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, the busyness. And honestly, I feel like there's, like, for me and myself, I, like, do, like, so much more random shit that I never used to do. Like, I'm, like, we get lost on Instagram for, like, yeah. three hours. I'm, like, <laughs> lost. <laughs> Maybe that's why time's going by so fast. Yeah. I'm looking at dumb shit yeah, all day yeah, long. Yeah, fucking memes. <laughs> like, the pixels are going to get, you know, a little fucked up. So it's, like, it's not going to get, like, anything on your face, you know? You know? Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. This is awesome. I'll see you guys later. Yes. Thank you very Keep much. Nice meeting you. Chicken be holding it down, baby. <laughs> four, three. Two. Two. Uh, see ya. Uh, that was, that was something special. That was something really, really special. She's from the same hometown as me. B O B. Couldn't have gone better. Podcast was great. Content was great. Her story is amazing. She's just so like energetic and bubbly and just happy. And towards the end of the podcast, I made a comment to her about like. You know, people move to LA and every, everybody that lives in LA is always about themselves and you can so much tell she still is the roots of Chicopee Mass, like the family she was raised by, the Polish, like just being, you know, very genuine and honest and, excuse me, friendly and just, that was amazing. That was so good. So Sabina Gadecki, amazing, beautiful, talented, crushing it. Great podcast. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you like this vlog, check out the podcast itself. It'll be in the link description below. And that's it. See you guys next time. Peace!